Hello my lovelies and welcome to Sundering Tarot. This is your daily tarot reading for the 19th of May 2023. Um, we will be using the Soul Cats Tarot for I do believe the fourth day in a row. That's what my ancestors called for again so this is what we're going to go ahead and use. Please also note that there is a new moon in Taurus for today so that helps with your finances abundance, um, even sensuality, connection to the physical world, um, your stability, your security. That's a good time to be grounded. Even slowing down is totally fine. Um, this also affects your career, basically anything earth energy related. Mercury and Taurus, also sextile Saturn and Pisces, physical and mental energy can be helpful. You can focus on plans for your goals. You can manage, um, you can merge the details with the big picture and see things clearly. So you have great insight. Uh, the moon also enters Gemini, so an idea may get your attention. You can gather information, advice, and work on short-term plans to get it off the ground as well. So it's interesting that that is all connected for energy for the day. It's fabulous for a new moon. So let's see what comes out. I'm going to go ahead and change the lighting again. Hopefully that will help. Alright, I will say for those of you that have come to this reading, if you have not seen my reading for the 18th of May, you may want to go back for that reading because the beginning of this um, is literally the residual en energy of the previous reading. I do believe I entitled that video, um, Get Off the Fence. So... We have the King of Swords in the reverse, the Six of Cups in the reverse, the Knight of Swords in the reverse, Death, the Five of Swords, the Devil, the Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Two of Cups, the Seven of Swords, the Four of Swords, the Nine of Swords, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Cups in the reverse, the Ace of Pentacles, and we end on the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So for those of you that already know about my Get Off the Fence video or have come back for it, um, you may have been uh, unfocused and unclear, indecisive, um, and suffering from disillusionment um, and being directionless for quite some time. That's also the, the Mercury retrograde, which has now gone direct. That is dead, done, and over with. Uh, uh, we don't have that issue anymore, whereas before we were suffering from that. For quite a while, we had distractions uh, and obsessions as we were on the fence and juggling options and not making anything. As I said, indecisiveness. We were on the fence about something. <laughs> However, that's officially dead, done, and over with. Um, we're able to successfully move forward, and that's because we've made connections, and literally we have made a choice. We've made a choice, and we ran with it. So instead of being agonized and stressful and repeating the same cycle of indecision and not getting anywhere, we're now able to take a deep breath, <sighs> let it all out, and relax because it's, it's dead, it's done, it's over with. We don't have to be dissatisfied or stressed or disheartened anymore. We've ended that period um, because we finally made a choice. So congrats. Yay, we made a choice. <laughs> we could take a big old side breath of relief and relax for a sec, <laughs> just for a sec. And because we've made a decision, we've got off the fence, uh, we've gotten rid of something, the indecision, the um, fogginess, the uncertainty, the doubt. Um, we've clearly made a choice. We've taken action. So we freed up some energy, and with that, of course, always comes new in to take its place. And now that we've solved one problem and made a decision, we have uh, a new opportunity going forward to work on something else. So our mind is free to do other things. Our body is free to do other things. Other things can now occupy our time instead of being indecisive on previous things. Which is great because today is a new moon so this is about starting new things new items new ideas etc all things new and we have the ace of pentacles right here so yeah being able to redirect our energy into something new to work on 
is fabulous. And that's perfect timing. So instead of being on the fence, we made a decision. We got off the fence. And it's all because we made a choice. I love this two of cups over here, by the way. And everything, believe it or not, all the cards here add up to 101, which of course, um, all together reduces down to two, which is, um, connections and relationships. So yes, you made connections, realized what they were and made a choice. Um, and of course this is all had to do with you. Um, the relationship with yourself and your world and your part in it, what you want and how to get it, etc. That's fabulous. Yay. <laughs> Gotta love it when we make choices. All right. Okay, my lovelies. I hope some of this resonated for you. If it does, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Bye.